make a crowd go Hey guys, what's going on? It's MiniGamesBD6 here, and today I am back with another Minecraft PE Redstone tutorial video. If you haven't seen my last video, I built this automatic sugarcane farm. If you want to go check it out, it's the last Redstone tutorial video I did down in the Redstone tutorial section of my channel. So go check it out, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, if you learn anything from it, leave a like on the video. That would actually be really nice. And today, oops. Okay, why do I always do that? I do that in almost every video, I think. Anyway, today we are going to be building a password door. So basically, this hopper over here, I'm going to take a piece of paper named pizza, because that's the password, and I'm going to throw it in as soon as I angle my body up. Throw it in. And then it takes a second, and then, yeah, I could go around it because there's no walls, but, yeah. Okay, I, I, anyway, I can go through, then basically I hit this button, shuts the door, I hit it again, and then I, I get pizza back. And then you hit this button over here, and it opens for a short period of time, just like a normal door. Okay, I'm really not good at going through doors, so we're just going to go around. Anyway, uh, Mr. Meep, if you're watching this, this would actually be really good for some of your maps that you'll be building, and you build, and stuff like that. This would be really good for like entering secret rooms. You could hide it in a chest somewhere. And this is for anyone, not just Mr. Meep I'm talking to. But you can like hide a, the piece of paper named a certain password in a chest somewhere. Then someone can go find the chest during a quest in your map and use it to unlock secret areas. That would be really nice. That's the reason I'm showing this. Mr. Meep might want to use it. And well, a lot of you guys might want to use it. So let's get started with the build. All you're going to need is, well, paper named any password that you want. You're going to want to have any block or any item that can stack that you don't want stacking. You really don't need stacked items, but you need to name it like this is red concrete one, two, three, four. And then the last one is red concrete one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these are the in between numbers. Anyway, so you're going to need the password. You're going to need these. That's how you code it, like set it up. You are going to need a, a stack of any block of your choice. Of course, I use red concrete because red's my thing. You're going to need an iron door. You're going to need, I'm pretty sure, three hoppers. You're going to need two buttons, two droppers. I have stacks because that's just how it lets you grab them. Three pieces of redstone, three redstone comparators, I'm pretty sure you'll only need one or two redstone repeaters. You'll see when I build it. I just, it takes me, I have to build it to get the numbers right. And then one, two redstone torches, maybe three, you'll find out when I build it. That's when you'll get the exact number and I'll probably correct myself while I build. Anyway, so we'll want to start off with one hole here, another here, another here, and one here. Then we'll want to go three back and then just like cut it out in the, with the rest of it just for like get the rest of it done. And then we're going to want to go one more row down. I should probably start using a shovel. I have a feeling it'd be quicker. Also, um, you can look up some gameplay on Xbox controller use with Minecraft PE. I have the equipment for it. I can totally use an Xbox controller if you guys don't want me using the mouse and keyboard anymore. Uh, I've had a lot of people, well not a lot, but there was one guy in my first video that said that fingers are less annoying than fingers. And I have a feeling he meant the keyboard and mouse, like fingers would be better. But I could also, instead of fingers, just use, oh I already have grass blocks, okay. I always keep grass blocks in my inventory. Anyway, I could also just use, well, yeah, an Xbox controller instead, if need be. But anyway, so this is how we're going to go. Whichever way we make the door face, the door's going to face this way, because the other door faces that way. So basically, wherever we want the door to face, I'm going to need to go from this side block, one, two, and then diagonal one. So this is where we're going to want to put two out of the 64 blocks of our choice. 
And you do, you're not going to use all 64 unless you're decorating it and everything. So I'm not going to put the door on till last either because it's really annoying. Anyway, so we're going to need this. Shift, jump. There's our two droppers. Then we're going to have to t shift and make this hopper go into the dropper. Then we're going to want to dig a hole here. We're going to want to come onto this hopper. That was a little lag spike. And now we're going to want to go and grab our redstone torch. I'm going to go ahead and get the sword out of the way I did that so that way I wouldn't break blocks. And we're going to want to place it on the back face, the front face of this block, facing like that. So that way, you know how you put torches on a wall like that instead of just straight up. And then we're going to take the rest of our hoppers. Well, not the rest because, of course, infinite amount almost in creative. So we're going to take the last three that I know we need just like that. And then... I guess we could co go ahead and code it now, but I'd rather show the rest of the build. We're going to need a redstone comparator. We're going to need to face it like that. And then we're going to need to put it into a block. Put it into a block. Then we're going to need to put a redstone dust here. Break this so that way it'll shut off the torch when it's when the item that you're going to put in the piece of paper or whatever item you use. You can use a cookie for the password. It'll go in and it'll stop this. When this stops, it'll turn this on. And Or when it goes in, the redstone comparator will detect it, power this block, which powers the redstone I'm standing on, into this block, which shuts off the torch, allowing something to go through. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to place another redstone comparator. This is going to be a short video, by the way. I don't know why I tend not to warn people and then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust, our last piece of redstone dust there. Then we're going to want to put a block there. Redstone torch on the back face of this block. Then we need to go ahead and put a torch over that. I mean, not a torch, a block over that. And then a block here with a redstone comparator on it. If I can get up here, that'll work. And then you see it, it powers it. So now when I put the iron door on, as you'll see now, if I can get it on right. Um, yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to go. I'm pretty sure that the this stuff's supposed to face the other way, but whatever works. Now what we're going to want to do is you're going to need an anvil and then paper of some sort to actually complete this action. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and grab that real quick. And you'll put 18 pieces of pizza into the item hopper. I don't know why I just put it into that one. I probably just messed it all up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just messed it all up. So I'll have to fix that real quick. It, or it's going in here. Nope, it went all the way into the bottom one. So I have to fix that real quick. So don't be dumb like me and do that. It's not in the dropper, so it stopped somewhere. Where did it go? I'm probably not looking in the right spot. It's probably still where I thought it was. Is it in this one? No. Is it in this one? Yes. Okay, it is. And then you're going to need... Uh, so, okay, okay. I didn't mess it up. You can totally do that then. And then you're going to want to put your four randomly named blocks, minor red concrete. Basically, you don't want them to be able to stack to where they can go through or you'd, someone could throw red concrete in there and have it go through that's not what you're wanting so you need it passworded pretty much it's kind of like having more than one password but this is the only password that they need to use to go through basically yeah you just name these random things you could spam a bunch of keys uh, do whatever and that way no one can guess those or uh, that'll throw it all off all right and then back here is where we're going to want to put our buttons we're going to want to shift put this here and then we're going to want to place a block right like this. Hold on. Let me actually get the block to go. Just like that. And yes, I do now realize that the door is messed up. So we're going to want to break the door. And we're going to want to face this way, I think. 
Yes, I think so. All right. So now we're going to place, oops. Okay. Now we're going to place this above, give ourselves our little archway that normal doorways have. All right. So now let's cover this up really quick. By really quick, I mean it as a snail's pace, obviously, because I'm not that fast at placing blocks with this keyboard and mouse. And now let's test and see if it actually works. Let's put this in our hand, drop it in the hopper. It did not go in the hopper, of course not. So basically now we're going to have to like drag this out in the inventory till it goes to one. There we go. Now we got one more piece of paper. There we go. Okay, something went wrong here. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. It was just, there was nothing wrong. I looked in here. There was nothing wrong with how I set it up. So the tutorial that I did is perfect, except for the door placement, which you guys are probably a lot smarter than me and know how to actually place the door right. So, yeah. Now let's go ahead, go back in the inventory. Let's drag this out real quick, get our piece of pizza back, our paper pizza, and drop it on in. And there we go. Now it works. So, yeah, everything that I just showed you was perfectly fine, except for door placement. I'm really not good at door placement. So, Mr. Meat, I'm sure you know how to place doors. Everyone else that's watching, I'm sure you know how to place doors. But for some reason, I don't know how to place doors right, and I had to fix that real quick. And now it works. And then, yeah, that won't work until after we close it, push the button, get our pizza back. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like. If you learn anything from it, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell down below. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, and this is the first for a while. But I've been really busy, so if you want to know when I post a video hit the notification bell so that way you'll get notified in your phone or on your computer or something like that and I will see you guys next time